All right, I had somebody ask me about uh, gear ratio charts. I use the one over at CB Performance. I find it very helpful. Usually if I'm going to build a motor, I sort of figure out my uh, RPM band and my camshaft, uh, when the power comes on and when it quits, what RPM I want to operate the engine in, and then I can tailor my uh, transmission to my motor. Uh, with a race car, you know, you uh, want to get the car down the track. When you're building a street car, you want the power to be linear to the transmission. The one thing you want to remember when you're building a long box or a three-way flyer is you don't want to drop the uh, fourth gear so low that the uh, camshaft is not in the RPM band that it needs to be in. And what I mean by that is if you have a cam that starts making power at, let's say, like a K7, 24, 2500 RPM, you want to make sure that you don't put your cruise speed too far under this RPM. Uh, if you drop below the cruise RPM of the cam, it can create heat. So a lot of us are running crazy stuff like, you know, FK89 on the street. It starts making power in like the 4,000, the, you know, high threes. So you have to watch dropping the RPM down to like 3,200 RPM. You can create some heat in the motor uh, with lack of RPM having the cam out of its uh, operating range. But I find this chart really helpful. Uh, like I said, you get a CB performance, go to their gear ratio calculator. And uh, you can plug in, this is a standard 388, is it the first tranny that will be in here when you come to the site. These are the standard gears you'll find in a, a late model uh, IRS uh, 388 tranny. 378 first, 206 second, 126 third with an 089 fourth. Uh, this is not a long box. Uh, it is a long box comparative to like the uh, standard uh, Volkswagen tranny. Like, let me put the RPM difference. Let's uh let's look at this first. This is a standard 388 box, and let's uh most of us like to cruise at 80. So here's 81. It's 3800 RPM is your final drive RPM. So now we take this box and we change fourth gear to an 077. zeros out there we go okay what are we doing we need to put this at a uh, oh point seven seven reset the uh, calculator you just click in the gray when the line goes away it's recalculated now at uh, 80 miles an hour at 3200 rpm so we've dropped the rpm 500 rpm there 32 I guess we're at 35. We've dropped it 300 RPM. 3200 RPM is pretty decent. If you have a huge cam, you can run into an issue. You know, you can just go a little faster. I don't like to cruise the motor down here. I like to be up about 33, 3400 RPM. So uh, I would probably just drive a little faster. 84 miles an hour would put you right in the sweet spot. This is a good RPM for your fan to operate at, and if you drop too far under this, you're going to find that you're pretty much out of the power band of the cam, which will create heat. So uh, there you go. That's the traditional freeway flyer. That's uh, one way you can do it. And the other way is you can add the uh, 344 ring and pinion, which uh, will reduce the RPM to, I believe, even more. And I think you can buy that ring and pinion from a couple different people now. So there we go. Let's find 80 miles an hour now. Uh, 2900 RPM. So that, that would be the ultimate freeway flyer there. And you could adjust fourth gear probably back to the 089 and not have to buy the uh, expensive fourth gear. Let's plug an 89 in here. Uh, that's a 90, not an 89 dork. This is seven. I need a light. I need a light for my desk. I can't see. There we go. This is standard setup with just a ring opinion change. Let's find 80 here. 80. 3300 RPM. That's a pretty sweet box. I sort of like that box there. Uh, you only have to buy the ring opinion this way, and the whole box is linear. It's a, the whole box is longer. First is a little longer, second's a little longer. And uh, this is my preferred way to build a freeway flyer because the box is more linear. You don't get that drop off in fourth gear. And uh, the stack is more uh, 
in line with each other when you just change the ring and pinion. So you can significantly reduce the RPM in uh, fourth gear if you uh, want to sacrifice, you know, that linearness. You can put an 077 in here. Of course, then you have to uh, buy the uh, 077 and also the uh, ring and pinion. So this would make the tranny a little more pricey. But let's see what we got for a uh, drive here. We'd be in the 2800 RPM range right here, 2829 with the 077 with the 344. So you can see there's several ways to drop the gear ratio. Uh, you can make your box tight or long. I prefer a long box. I like to make the motor make power where it's, uh, you know, it likes to eat the long box up because then you end up with more mile an hour that way. Uh, typically we go through the traps at about 120 miles an hour in Noel's car and we run either the 344 or the uh, the uh, 388 so he would just be getting into fourth gear in the uh, eighth mile and here you go uh, 120 is about 4300 rpms we run the 089 fourth though not the uh, 077 and uh, that makes a good turbo drag box. 0.89. Recalculate. It's 120 miles an hour here. And uh, that's 4,900, 5,000 RPM. So you can see it's, uh, it's fun to play with this. And you can sort of predict your ET and the RPM, the engine log we run. We collect uh, engine data. So we have all kinds of stuff we can overlap. But this is a good box for the quarter mile, you know, I figure the car would probably go through at about 76, 7800 and uh, that would put us right at 189 miles an hour with the current uh, stack that we're running and uh, that's about right. So uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, again, you can find this at CB Performance and uh, I hope that uh, you find this uh, helpful it's fun to go in here and play with this they have several different calculators you can play with and it's always fun to uh, build it on paper before you make the mistake in real